So in this video, I'm going to weld some thin aluminum with, aluminum with my uh, Miller 255 here. I'm going to weld in it. I've got a brand new Aluma Pro 25-foot uh, push-pull gun. This gun, I just paid about 3200 bucks for it. If you look at the rollers in that, the release, ooh, is that nice. I don't know if it's $3,200 nice, but that is really, really nice. If you weld a lot of aluminum, it's definitely worth $3,200. Uh, it is amazing, though. The 255, though, super easy to set up. Plug the gun in. It kind of sets itself up almost. And you can just decide here if you go into the to the auto set or the pull side how thick of aluminum you want. And it just changes your wire speed is all it's doing. So if you just put it over to manual mode and you look at the uh, the side panel for how thick a material you're welding, you can just adjust it. But this is just kind of easy. The lowest wire speed it'll go down to is 125. So at 125 with the voltage, it says that I can weld 18 gauge. Uh, so we're going to get the push-pull gun out and try to weld some 18 gauge with it. So... Recently, I went to a body shop and had to weld some 18 gauge for somebody. And it really is, like if you look at 18 gauge, ooh, is it thin, man. So I will clamp this up, uh, get this out. In a butt joint like this with a push-pull gun, if you just continuously feed it down the line, I'll blow a hole in this, it's just too thin. So I will just have to stitch it as I go uh, and I'll show you that. So this is our setup. We got two pieces of 20 gauge here. That we will put together like so. We clamp to one side, let's tack it to it. This 20 gauge is so thin. It's kind of probably the worst thing you could ever weld. Get my glove on here. Get my Aluma Pro hooked up to my 255. We'll get a little couple little tacks right here. That's tack pretty nice. Oh, that tack real nice there. What you kind of notice about a push pull gun. So we'll just weld right across these two tacks here. It's almost like jewelry welding, how small this is. That's about as much welding. Oh, I got a little hole here. Let me try to see if I can just fix that. And it did actually. So, this is about the best you're gonna do, for me anyway. That's the best I'm gonna come up with with trying to weld 20 gauge. And that's with this huge push-pull gun, this huge arc, this guy will be pretty hot. But this is paper thin aluminum. And you can imagine, it's welded together. So a push-pull gun will weld really thin. This is just, you know, crazy thin. This is beyond reasonable thin welding. But, uh, and you clamp it to the table, burn yourself picking it up really well. But that push-pull gun though, 255 will weld that uh, 18 gauge aluminum. Heck, you know what's so funny with this? Mine actually, I, no, I just realized, I'm actually welding thinner, I'm welding 20 gauge on this. So anyway, that the, the lowest it'll go down to is, is 18, so I'm a little hot and that's why I can't continuously feed that into it. But it'll do it.